If you're somebody who likes to set goals, boy, is this video for you. This year I tried something completely new and I am so excited to share it with all of you. What's up everyone, it's Modern Millie. Welcome or welcome back to my channel where I post videos every Wednesday teaching you the latest strategies and trends on social media to help bloggers, content creators, and influencers grow their brands. So give a little love tap on that subscribe button to stay up to date on all the latest tips and tricks that I have for you. First, I wanna say a huge thank you to this video's shout outs. I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for all of you. So if you wanna get a shout out in one of my future videos, make sure to screenshot yourself watching this video and tag me on Instagram stories or or leave a comment below and subscribe to my channel. As always, timestamps will be in the comments down below because I value your time and you already know why you're here. So let's get into it. Today, we are talking about goal setting. Now, I don't care when you are watching this video, whether it's when this video goes live in the summer, around Halloween, whenever, I want you to know that it is never too late to set your goals and start tracking your growth. This video is going to be in two parts. The first part I'm going to share with you how I set my goals and the second part will be sharing with you what my 2021 goals are. Now let's get started. There are sort of two formats that I followed um, for setting my goals. One was a training that Christina Galbato did. I'll be sure to link it below. It's on her IGTV. And another one is following the methods in the Cultivate What Matters goal planner. I kind of mix and match the two trainings to create something that felt the most um, productive, I guess, to create kind of my own goal setting methods. And this is what I came up with. This whole process took me about three to five days because I wanted to space it out and give myself time to really dive into each phase. During my day one, the first thing that helped me out the most with clarity on my goals and figuring out what to set was doing a complete brain dump page. This page was a kind of like write down all of your thoughts, ideas, no right or wrong answers, no need for it to look pretty or sound pretty, just anything you wanted to cultivate or manifest, write it down, get it all out of your brain, write it down. The next step that I took was I evaluated eight different areas of my life and these categories were health, friends, finances, spiritual personal growth, spouse slash focus relationship, family, work, and recreation. I ranked each of these categories on a scale of one to 10, then highlighted three areas that I wanted to focus on in 2021 or for the next 365 days, wherever you're at. So that is basically it for day one, kind of brain dumping and evaluating your current life and where you're at and where you want to be. Then for day two, I went back to my brain dump and eight categories. I highlighted anything that was reoccurring or really stood out and resonated with me. From there, I actually chose the goals that I wanted to be focusing on for the next year, separating out business and personal goals. For me, I picked eight goals, so four business related, four personal, but depending on how like large those goals are, you could create two large business goals and two large personal goals, or if they're smaller goals, you could do four and four. If you already have some goals set or if while I'm talking, you're thinking of things that you wanna be working on. What are those goals? Write them down in the comments below. I'm really curious what you guys are working on. Each goal I created its own piece of paper for. So I write in my list of eight, I got, I got my journal out and at the top of each journal, I wrote the goal on a different piece of paper. Under the goal, I also wrote my why. Why is this goal important to me? Right now you have eight pieces of paper, each one has a goal on it, and under each goal is the big why. Now under the why, write every single action item or mini goal you need to complete for that goal to be considered achieved. For example, if my goal is to read 12 books in a year, my mini goals would be read one book every month, pick out the books ahead of time, figure out how many pages I need to read in a month to finish the book assigned. Or if my goal is to launch an online course, the action items would be outline course, write the script, film or create the videos, create all downloadables and worksheets, set up a hosting platform, create a six week launch plan and so on. So I just outlined what the step-by-step -step would look like for me to consider that goal as achieved. After you break down all the action items for each goal, take a break. That was the end of a day for me. That took a lot of work. So I took a breather. <laughs> now for day three, I started to assign each action item a due date. I prioritized which goals were most important to me, and then I assigned due dates of those goals to the first quarter of the year. The secret here is that you don't have to work on all of your goals at once. I thought like when setting goals, like at the beginning of the year for whatever New Year's resolutions, I thought 
okay, I have eight goals, let's get them all done. And the secret is you don't have to work on them all at the same time. If I want to launch an online course and grow my YouTube channel to 100,000 subscribers, maybe I want to have my course done first so that I can mention it in my YouTube videos. So for quarter one, I'll just focus on launching the course and then quarter two, I'll focus on growing my YouTube channel. Assigning the action items due date and putting them into a calendar or planner is a must. This is what will turn those dreams into a reality because you wrote it down, you're manifesting it, and you're more likely to take action on it when you see it in your planner. Okay, that's it for day three is just assigning those due dates, putting it into a quarter one or quarter two, and putting it into your planner. Now for day four, before you take any action on any of your goals, I want you to write down your starting point for all of your goals. This is especially helpful if you have a goal that's kind of quantitative, like growing on Instagram, TikTok, losing weight, reading a certain amount of books, taking a certain amount of online courses. Write down where you're starting and where you want to be at the end of the year. So how many followers are you currently at? What's your current weight? How much, how much money did you make last year? And then across from that number, make sure to write how many followers do you want to be at? What is your goal weight? How much money do you want to make this year? So you could see the growth that you have to make. This is a fun one to do because at the end of the year or whenever the end of your timeline is, you can come back to this piece of paper or that piece of information and see where it all started and see your growth that you've made. That's basically the steps that I took to plan my goals. So now I want to share with you guys what my goals are for 2021. Okay, so in the beginning, I talked about having a brain dump page and I will show you guys my brain dump page. This was my brain dump page. So this was my brain dump page that I did. I was feeling a little extra this day, so I, used fun colors, fun handwriting. Again, your brain up page doesn't have to look pretty or be perfect. I was just feeling extra and inspired. So I, I made it a little fancy. <laughs> this is the Cultivate What Matters goal planner. I'll be sure to link it below if you guys want this. Um, and then the eight areas of life. So here's the eight areas. So like between health, friends, finances, spiritual, personal growth, spouse, focal relationship, family, work, recreation, the three areas. The three areas that I wanted to focus on was health, finances, and recreation. Now for my eight goals, again, after examining like my brain dump page and my priorities for the eight areas of life, that's when I kind of set in stone what my eight goals would be for the year. So my eight goals, again, for personal, for business, is read 12 books, launch an online course, grow my audience, pass six-figure income and revenue, create an active lifestyle that I enjoy, expand my team, grow in knowledge and connect with other creatives. Just to kind of explain a little bit more of like the breakdown for some of my goals, if you guys want some examples. Um, one of my goals I did use as an example earlier is reading 12 books. I, again, one of my areas that I wanted to focus on was recreation and that's like doing more things that are fun and enjoyable. To me, that's what it was. So I, one of those things is reading 12 books. I really enjoy to read. I love book of the month. So I thought that would be a really fun way for me to accomplish this goal. Um, no, this is not sponsored. I just love book of the month as much as I love Trello. So I'm gonna tell you about it cause I love it. Book of the month is a monthly membership where every month they present to you like five new up and coming books and you get to pick one of them to keep and they send it to you via mail. Um, and yeah, it's yours to keep, you, you keep it for forever. You could also get certain perks by finishing books, little gifts and gift, not gifts, gifts with a T. Get some gifts and perks as you finish books. So it's just really fun. If you're a nerd at all like I am, it's pretty cool. <laughs> so I'll leave, I'll put a link below uh, where you could join Book of the Month and get your first month for, I think the first month is $9.99 and I think it's only in the US. If you're a nerd like me, get your first book for $9.99, you're welcome. Another goal of mine was launch my online course. I used that as an example earlier. My goal is to launch my course three times, once in April, once in July, and once in November. This is because I wanna do two live launches to test like webinars and six week cor course launch plan and how people respond to certain things so I can make tweaks so eventually I can have an evergreen marketing process for my online course. So my goal is to launch it three times. Oh, I feel so weird to say all these things out loud. It's kind of scary. <laughs> um, and then a goal was to grow my audience. Now that is very general, which is why it's so important if you have a general goal to break it down into specifics. So for me, I want to grow my audience in all of my platforms. So that's Instagram, YouTube, TikTok, my email list, and Patreon, just so I could 
document where I'm starting out so that you guys know where I'm starting at the time of this video or at the time of the new year when I wrote these down. Instagram, I started the year at 30,000. My goal is to hit 50,000 by the end of the year. YouTube, I'm at 34,000. Goal is to hit 100,000 by the end of the year. And also with my YouTube, just so you guys know, I wanna start tying in more um, nurture content. So I have a lot of search friendly content for new people to find me, but I also wanna create videos that is more like lifestyle, personal connection stuff for my subscribers. You know who you are. So that's like a goal for YouTube. TikTok 615 is where I'm starting. I'd like to hit 10K by the end of the year. That's the platform I really wanna study so that I could figure out how to grow on it so I could teach you guys how to grow on it. <laughs> and then Patreon, beginning of the year I had zero members on my uh, group coaching community. So by the end of the year, I'd love to have 200 people in my group coaching community. If you guys don't know, I do have a monthly membership on Patreon for entrepreneurs to be surrounded by amazing community of people. Every week there's live trainings. There's also monthly challenges to help you grow your business and your mindset. So if you want to join that, I'll be sure to link it below. Yeah, it's gonna be great. I'm already having a great time with the 14 people that are in there. So we're basically like this now. We're basically like this because I hang out with them like every day in Patreon. So it's really fun. Uh, and then my email list started at 1500 and I'd love to grow that to anywhere between five and 10,000. It's, it's one thing writing things down and then to say it out loud, it's intimidating, it's very scary. My other goal was to create an active lifestyle that I enjoy. Uh, I'd like to basically just find a way that I enjoy working out because I've never been fond of like going to the gym or going out on runs, but I want to be active and I want to have like a more fit active lifestyle. So I think this year is going to be me testing different ways of being active and getting out and about and figuring out what is enjoyable to me. So that's just one of my goals. Again, recreation and health. Okay, now we're talking about expanding my team. Right now I have a virtual assistant, video editors, and a brands manager. Maybe by the end of the year have one other like full-time employee, kind of like my right-hand man. Next is expanding my knowledge. This is again general, but I did break it down. I believe like the second that you stop learning is the second you stop growing. So for me, I always wanna be curious and educating myself. I'll be starting a mastermind in February because even coaches need a coach and I'm really excited to learn a lot from my coach. Another one is connect with more creatives. I just want to make more friends in the social media world. There's enough room for all of us to grow and the best way to do that is by supporting each other. So that's one of my goals. And then the last one is past six figures in income. I talked about that in my last video of how much money I made in 2020, all of the income streams that I'll be creating. So if you wanted more on that, you can click the card above and I go into how much I made last year from all my revenue streams and my goals for this year with the rev new revenue streams. Those are all of my goals as I'm recording this. I'm honestly really excited to look back at this video in one year, two year, three years to see the growth that I've made. Similar to like my income or analytic videos, I like to look back and see the growth. So we'll see where I'm at this time next year. You guys will see where I'm at too. This will be a fun journey. If you guys have made it this far and you're not already subscribed, make sure to tackle that subscribe button and turn on the bell notifications so you don't miss when I post my videos. And um, yeah, that's basically it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in the next one. Follow your joy. Bye.